Valentine's Day, a day of love and romance, held the promise of a new beginning for me, a blind date arranged by my friends, a chance to find love and share a new connection. Little did I know, this Valentine's Day would become a nightmare. As I stepped into the dimly lit restaurant, the scent of roses mixed with the aroma of gourmet cuisine. Anticipation hung thick, blending with the soft melodies of a violinist serenading the couples. Nervous excitement coursed through me, my heart fluttering in anticipation of meeting my mystery date. He arrived, a vision of handsomeness with a smile that promised warmth and affection. His name was Adam his eyes sparkling with a charm that captivated me from the moment we exchanged greetings. The scent of his cologne, masculine and intoxicating, lingered in the air as we shared laughter and stories over candlelit dinner. But beneath his enchanting facade lurked a darkness I could not perceive. As the night wore on, subtle hints of unease gnawed at my senses. The restaurant, once a sanctuary of romance, now seemed to hold hidden shadows obscured by the flickering candlelight. As we parted ways, Adam suggested a moonlit stroll through the nearby park, a gesture that seemed innocent enough. The scent of jasmine wafted on the evening breeze, its sweet fragrance masking the foreboding sense of unease that gripped me. Ignoring the warning signs, I followed him into the darkness. The park, shrouded in shadows, took on an eerie quality under the moon's silvery glow. The scent of damp earth mixed with the distant rustle of leaves, creating an atmosphere of unsettling calm. With each step the air grew heavier, laden with the weight of impending danger. Suddenly Adam's demeanor shifted, his smile replaced by a cold, calculating stare. A chill crept down my spine as I realized the truth. I was not his date, but his prey. Panic surged, my heart racing as I attempted to flee from the trap that had ensnared me. But Adam was relentless, his footsteps echoing through the darkness as he pursued me with a determination born of madness. With each passing moment, the shadows seemed to close in, threatening to consume me whole. As I stumbled through the dark paths of the park, a glimmer of hope emerged, the distant sound of approaching sirens. The scent of relief washed over me, mingling with the sweat and tears that stained my trembling form. Help was near. With renewed determination, I pressed forward, the distant wail of sirens growing louder with each step. The darkness receded, replaced by the soft glow of streetlights that illuminated the path to safety. The scent of freedom, once a distant dream, now filled the air with its intoxicating promise. And then, just as hope seemed within grasp, Adam emerged from the shadows, a specter of terror in the moonlight, his eyes, once filled with deceit, now burned with a pure rage. The scent of danger permeated the air, a reminder of the nightmare that threatened to consume me. But before he could strike, the sound of approaching footsteps shattered the silence. A police officer, drawn by the commotion, emerged from the darkness, his presence a beacon of hope in the night. He commanded Adam to stand down, his reign of terror brought to an abrupt end. The police officer received a tip from the restaurant, and our waiter identified my date as a wanted criminal. He takes his victims on dates, brings them to a dark, secluded park, and kidnaps them. As the handcuffs clicked around his wrists, a sense of relief washed over me. The nightmare was over, the darkness banished by the light of justice. And as I watched Adam being led away into the police car, I knew that I had survived the blind date from hell, emerging stronger than ever before.